Sa Pilipinas, itong mga appliances natin, 220 volts. Sa Amerika, that's why we have this 110 volt station. 110 volts! <laughs> Tapos, meron din tayong mga power bank na kagaya nito, ang nakalagay is 10,050 milliamp hours. Mm, pero, there are also power stations like this from Greenfield. This has been very useful, by the way, sa amin nung Typhoon Odette. That says 800 watts. Like, this is milliamp hours. This is 800 watts. Yung kuryente is 220 volts. Plus, yung bill natin is in kilowatt hours. Ano ba talagang mga ibig sabihin nitong lahat? Especially for the ordinary day-to-day -day person. And that's what we're going to talk about today. And by the end of this video, we will understand na mas maganda ba yung 110 ni America versus yung 220 ni Pilipinas? And with this power station, when there's a blackout, ano ba pwedeng isaksak dito and gano siya katagal maglalas? So that's the video for today and we're going to make it as easy and digestible as possible. Inaarbor na natin yung laro ni Scott just to make sure I can explain to you in very, very simple terms. So imagine these Lego pieces to be the electricity in your house. And sabihin natin may device tayong kailangan ni power. This video is sponsored by Greenfield. And this is their jigsaw. So kailangan natin i-power yung jigsaw nila. ba? Kailangan to itulak yung kuryente papunta sa jigsaw. I can push it very, very slow. I can push it very fast. Or I can push it sakto lang. And that amount of push or pressure is what we call voltage. That's essentially it. So, how hard I push is basically the voltage. So, when it's a 120 volt outlet, it's pushing just a little bit slower than a 220 volt outlet that we have here in the Philippines. So that's basically voltage. Super simple. It's just how hard it pushes electricity into a certain device. Ano naman si amperage? Well, si amperage is the amount of electricity that I'm pushing. So I can either push one electricity or two at the same time. Or even be natin four at the same time and I can still push it super slow or super fast so with that makukuha natin si watts so si watts madali lang kung mathematics it's just voltage times amps equals watts but what does that mean so sabi natin isang lego piece is one amp so how much power do we need to power 990 watts dito sa Pinas. Well, all I need is 4 amps, more or less. 4 times 220 is very, very close to 900. Sabi na, more or less na lang. Sige na. <laughs> and yung pagtulak ko is a little bit faster. Compared to, sabihin natin, nasa America tayo and 110 volts lang tayo. So, mas marami yung amps na kailangan kong ikakarga kasi mas mabagal mag-push si voltage. Mas mabagal siya, so kailangan mas marami yung karga na amperage or the amount of electricity na tinutulak dapat mas marami at any given point. But ano ba ibig sabihin yan in real life? Very, very simple. Yung voltage is just a measure of compatibility. Meaning if my device is nakalagay dito, let's say for example, 220 to 240 volts, I can only use 220 or 240 volts. Alam naman natin yan, na-try na natin mag-plug at pumotok, di ba? So that's just a measure of compatibility. Yung kaya niya na pressure is only 220 to 240 volts. Sa amperage naman, in our example kanina, makikita natin na Kung 220 volts yung bahay ko, mas konti yung amperes na kailangan kong itutulak versus the 110 volts. This, this essentially means that I can cut down on the size of the wire. Mas maliit na wire ang kailangan ko 
pag malakas yung voltage ko. Mahina yung voltage ko, mas malaking wire ang kailangan natin sa ating bahay. So essentially, because sa Pilipinas tayo, we spend a little less on our wirings than a similar house in a 110 volt country. So that's what it means for us. And this is also why sometimes pag sobrang powerful ng device na pinapower natin at maliit yung wire na ginagamit natin, hindi siya nakakapasok, umiinit yung wire natin at nasusunog. That's basically how I understand electricity. So, alam na natin yung volts, alam na natin yung amperage, and alam na natin yung watts. Pero bakit yung bill ko ay kilowatt hour? Nakakagulo. So, essentially, a kilowatt is watts divided by 1,000. Parang meters at kilometers lang yan. Pero bakit may hour siya? So, example. Ito from Greenfield, this is their handheld vacuum. It is 600 watts. If I were to run it for one hour, I would have used 600 watt hours or 0.6 kilowatt hours. So, babayaran ko kay Meralco or dito sa Cebu Veco around 10 pesos per kilowatt hours. So, I'll be paying 10 times 0.6, 6 pesos for every hour I'm using this vacuum. So, that easy. But when it comes to things like this, the mga power storage devices, yung mga kadalasan na measurement makikita natin ay in milliamp hours. For example, these power banks are 10,000 milliamp hours. Ito, although 800 watts, meaning kaya niya to power 800 watts simultaneously, meron siyang nakalagay na 40,000 milliamp hours. Ano bang ibig sabihin ng milliamp hours? Well, it's basically kung ano yung amount of charge na kaya niyang store In our Lego example, pag 40 milliamp hours or 40 amp hours, that's 40 Lego example na kaya natin kunin from the power station. So, just as simple as that. Guys, I just want to thank Greenfield for sponsoring this video. This actual power station ginagamit namin for all the essentials during our power outage nung Typhoon Odette. You can plug in your electric fan. Dito sa bahay ginamit namin siya to plug in our modems and yung mga modem is usually mga 1 or 2 amps lang yung kinukonsume niya. So for our example, modem lang yun yung pinaplug namin and this is 40 amp hours. We essentially have modem power for almost a day. And this can be charged through solar, meron din siyang USB, meron din siyang ordinary outlet. Pati na rin 12 volt similar to sa kotse. Pwede tayong mag-plug dito. Meron din siyang mga display in volts. Ah, marunong na tayo. Watts, kung ano yung kinukonsume mo na watts dito so that you don't exceed the 800 watts. So this was very effective for us whenever we didn't want to turn on our generators. Basically, it's a small electric generator is the way I like to think about it. Very useful, noise-free, gasoline-free, diesel-free. Greenfield Power Station. That's it guys. Thank you so much for watching this video. Don't forget to hit like and subscribe and I hope you took away something from this. Sobrang hirap to make sure it was easy for you as possible. Hope you appreciate it. See you later guys.